So today is going to be a, a little bit different other than normally I post gameplay videos on YouTube, but I do making a Fortnite photography after like many of uh, people who who are using it on Twitter, on Instagram, and they're doing it and they're doing a Fortnite photography and that's what I'm going to do. Of Fortnite photography but some people are newer and this is where I will show you how to do Fortnite photography so here are the few steps so first one either you go on a creative or battle lab you can do it on neither one of these um, public matches if you wanted to so just um, just do one of these I'll do a creative for that number two is go on to settings make sure you use replay mode settings and make sure you turn them on uh, record replays or record creative mode replays on you can do uh, the large team replays if you want to do like team rumble 50 v 50 something around that but right now there's only one team replays so that's team rumble and make sure every settings turn your brightness on to 100 uh, unless if you have a bad lighting so just you can just turn all the way if you want and make sure if you have a uh, show FPS on like on the bottom but on, on replay it would show something in on your screen uh, on the top right somewhere but make sure you turn this off number three is that you can choose what skin that you're gonna use so any skins we're gonna use and yeah basically you can choose what skin you're gonna use what um, skin you got what emotes you're gonna use on your any of your favorite skin So now I'm in a creative you can try this in this area in the hub in creative you can try this in in the public matches or battle lab in the main island but I'm gonna do in creative right now so that's what I'm gonna do you can try the maps that I'm gonna do and some people who worked hard and they really do work hard and they really do their stuff and gotta credit them they did their map very hard so I would say give credits to them gotta give credit so every time when you're posting any of the posts that you made of, uh, of your Fortnite photography you can like let's say this one then you're gonna be whoa that was loud but you can try this that was loud I need to turn that down <laughs> yeah but try this map and then you had to credit unless you make your map but that's what I'm gonna do credit them and make sure that you have better lighting I guess uh, I have this lighting right now I guess I guess I have that lighting and then you can start emoting I guess right now so
so you can do any emotes. I'll do it two times. Like this one, Pokey, Daydream, anything that, is, um, that does fit. But, uh, so basically, you can do that. And that's what it's gonna be that easy. So after that, now you can go on replay mode as long as if it's save to replay mode there we go and keep on keep on eye on your frames per second that is not there like right there that's what I'm talking about on your on your very top right and make sure you turn that off so that's what I'm gonna do and and yeah so yeah speaking of textures yeah it sets to default so no need to change that um, but especially on the next gen so you're gonna be okay you're gonna be good so but PC you definitely change it or maybe you're gonna have a bad PC and bad graphics so I understand that and if your graphics card isn't there or something yeah you're gonna it's gonna burn it it's gonna hurt uh, if you're using any consoles anything of what platform you're in if you're using a PC uh, then basically you're gonna use your PC screenshot you had to hold your Windows and hold your uh, your print something. It's I'll, I'll show it on your screen, and that will pop up, and that's what you're gonna do. And on Xbox, you had to press your Xbox logo, and that's what you're gonna do. Just screenshot press your Xbox logo and then press Y uh, instead of pressing X the button to record this is for recording pressing Y is for screenshot so in that way you can save up uh, your pictures and as long as if you have the app you're good same thing for well not same thing on your PlayStation you have to press your uh, PlayStation button to screenshot so I will show it uh, to you in a minute um, third person set to this by pressing a uh, right stick or your R3 to drone attachment it, you can do drone free if you want but I would do uh, drone attachment you can try uh, third person or drone follow but I will do drone attachment and then and then uh, make sure you slow your character um, your replay very slow and then that way you can um, get a better pose better um, better stuff better pose just gonna say better pose and like right about there 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 and that's where I will screenshot once again if you're on Xbox press your Xbox logo and press Y and then your screenshot will be there and then if you're on PlayStation hold your share button which I'm about to do right now so so like also forgot to mention like the lighting so right there like your lighting your blurriness um, make sure like it's focus like this and then and then autofocus make sure if you want to uh, do this you can but I would autofocus a lot 
you can try uh, one of these uh, I don't think this one won't work um, but you can try it if you want I will try attempt one and I think uh, you can try it lower it to make it more cinematic but um, you can do these but I think it's starting to get a little bit blurry so I think this one or this one or this one depending on which one you want and then make sure like if you want to get more closer than like that you can try it but I would do it like oh, very close up and and then also auto exposure you can try it if you want to which I think I would do that and that way I can try this on just make sure you get a better one like I'm about to do to download your photos if you're on Xbox uh, you might have to go onto your library and and you just need to like find your clips find your screenshot but most importantly find your screenshot and probably uh, download it and it'll probably save it to your image so to your um, actual photo so it, that's all you have to do uh, for PlayStation uh, you need to like message to someone or just create your alt internet account so like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one and then if you do have the PlayStation app as well then then just click on the arrow right there on the very bottom right just click download and you are done with this one it's just easy you just need to download that uh, the only way that is hard if you need your all or you just need to send someone to your probably your friend to showcase it so yeah so if you're uh, willing to edit these photos yes you can uh, these are the two apps you might need snapseed in Lightroom um, right there but if you have the PC if you want to edit on on your mobile more than you send anywhere the app right there and there it is just need to do it and and just just try to send it you just need to send something and then put the code in and then you need to use your phone uh, for your laptop you just need to use it for your laptop or your PC just put it in there and then it'll send it to your phone when as long of course you need your code and and it'll go right to your uh, photos on your phone or your tablet so but but if you're just gonna edit on your PC, yeah, you can you can do that too. But as long if you have Lightroom right here, that's what you can do. But um, I can't believe Lightroom does have fit on your phone. But if you want to do it two times, uh, like double smooth, like more realistic blender of it, then. Hmm, I'm gonna show you how. So you click on the pencil right here. Once again, I did not mean to do that, but and then go on the portrait right. Uh, you see the face logo. So what you're gonna do is that you see you press preset and then choose one of them. And I suggest like you do this one or this one but I would go for a smooth too and if you go all the way to 100 then look closely to her face 
when I tap in. This is on edit. This is edit. On edit. Um, cause I'm holding with my finger and then I, if I let go it, it, she's like way better when the more smooth it is. And, and yeah, that, uh, you can do her eyes, eye clarity, but you don't have to. But yeah, you don't have to do it, but that's how you do it in... And then just go ahead and share it or if you don't have any devices just try to screenshot if you can or explore it so you can do that but I have another phone so uh, I'm at uh, another device just a phone I'm using my tablet so I have my phone so <laughs> yeah sorry my bad but also uh, just to make sure that um, for my older photos, if you don't know, what I do sometimes is that I go from the rainbow thing on the very top right. You click on that. Uh, you would click on smooth if you want to and see like it breaks her face off. Or you can do this one as well, but I don't think um, I don't able to do that for now just try to lower it. and if you want to get your brightness up you can but uh, but I, I'm not gonna do that if you want to do both yes you can do both but um, I would suggest to do either one of the one of them and then of course her um, her face area, if her face is fully shown, any of the face is shown, so, so yeah, you don't have to, but I'm not gonna do that for now, but I will give you guys my image about it, so, and now we're on to Lightroom, and then I think some people who are who did skip Snapseed and want to do Lightroom and if you guys uh, do feel like already done from Snapseed and feel like wanted to post uh, you can do that if you want but I'm not trying to make it more a dull looking one so so we're going to use the Lightroom and here we go and what I did here is I'll start off with light. These are this is what I can do. Just did that, but you can also do that if you willing to do it in different. Uh, it depends on what what you're gonna use in different. Uh, quality different lighting and then effect same thing for the effect but I would suggest if you use textures to increase more but but I'm gonna use that for now but color so this is going to be different, oh, whoops. So, if you go down there to saturation, like right now you see the red, like if I put 100, it's too much red, if I put it all the way down, it turns like gray. So I'm about to do that. And then, and then there's green one, and then I'm gonna turn this to like that, cause you know, there's a green leaf tree down there, and then the blue, cause there's a blue right there, and I'm gonna turn these to, to 17, cause 
or actually 35 then yeah that's what I can do and now to detail like you can see the quality isn't that good I have increased it to noise reduction and then color noise there's a little bit of the color noise and then these what I can I can do increase detail on below the color noise and then same thing for smoothness and you can actually see like there's no like a noise there and no um, bad quality in there the pixels it's just smooth and see how smooth it is and that's what I really do like about it and then finally all you have to do is share by that and you can now share it but if you wanted to add a water mark in it just press export it as and then go on to customize and then there's my um, my, my water mark right here that is all the way down there on Appa City so yeah and that's why it's a little bit um, fading away but it, but not too much for me you can use it black white I'm gonna put it white because it is darker so here is that and now you can just export it so now here's the comparison between the original one and then the edit one. So here's the edit one and then here's the original one. And then the original one, you know, it, it has like so many pixels, so many like, like not good quality of it. And like you see like the the character has more pixelated than in what I've edit and turns out when it looks smooth right there and then beside the original one and I really like how like how cleaner this skin is so and I really do like how clean uh, when you're editing so that's what um, I I personally do. So yeah, I'll show you the other captures and yeah. <laughs> 